what I like to do is show you how to uh, solve an equation using the square root method. So when you're looking at an equation like this and you have a square root, um, the first thing you always want to do is try to isolate the square root. Because we know that to get rid of the square root, you have to make sure you're square, you have to square, you have to use the inverse operation. Um, similarly, like if I was saying, you know, five squared, well to undo that, I'm mean, gonna have to take the square root. Same thing if you have the square root of five, to undo that, you're gonna wanna square it. So these are inverse operations that are gonna both give you back five. So when I'm looking at this problem, the first thing I notice is I have this four over here that I can't just square, I can't take the square root of all this because then I'm gonna be taking the square root of four and that's gonna mess me up. So the first thing, whenever you have a square root and a square, what you're gonna to wanna to do is um, isolate this variable. I'm sorry, isolate the square root. So I add a four on both sides. Hello. Uh, when I add the four on both sides, these now are going to cancel out. So I'm left with x minus three squared equals 14. Now I can do the inverse operation of the square. So the inverse operation of the square is the square root. And so what these have is that those now there's a two there, those are going to cancel out. So I'll be left with x minus three equals square root of 14. And whenever we're taking the square root of a number, that's always going to be plus or minus. We don't know if it's going to be the, the positive or the negative version. Then, to get my variable by itself, I'll add 3. And so my final solution is my answers are x equals um, 3 plus or minus the square root of 14. So that's how you solve an equation using the square root method.